A very good morning. My name is Alok, and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. It's really hot here. By saying hot, I'm referring to the weather. I'm not referring to Eva Mendes here. Okay, guys. Yes, though she is also hot, but here I'm specifically referring to the weather in Delhi. It's really hot. Okay. So, what's cool here? The cool is the video. So, what's here in this video? In this video, I am going to show you how to configure FTP with a TLS and or an SSL connection or we call it FTPS, secure FTP. Okay, we all know what is FTP. FTP is used to transfer the your files, but the problem with the FTP is that it does all the communication in the plain text and it can be captured very easily. Let me give you one example here. I have my trusted virtual machine here for you. Okay, come back my virtual machine. I'm giving my password. Will not tell you the password. Oh, wrong password. So better focus on the password. Here it is. So I, I have my VM here. I hope you are able to see it. Now that's fine. And I had just installed the FTP here. So FTP is installed here. That's great. I just start the service. Service VS FTP restart. It's a normal FTP. I had done nothing here. So the FTP is running here. Now I go to my another machine, the base machine here. And I'll just make it like this so that you'll be easy to see. Yo, that's great. Sometimes I do great things. Oh yeah. And I hit my machine here, linuxstorage.example.com. I give my logon name Alok. I give the password. I will not share the password. Look here. I'm doing I'm able to log in with the FTP and if you see here if you have noticed here it says SSL not available so whatever I'm doing now using the FTP every communication is being transferred in plain text whether my login name or my data and it can be captured very easily so what is the solution the solution is let's configure FTP with TLS and or SSL whatever and we call it FTPS and by configuring the FTPS, it means I'm using the same encryption that is being used in online transactions or banking or shopping. And the security will be applied to both your logins as well as your data. But the point is that you need a FTP client that should be aware of the SSL. So you can just go to the Google and try to download some FTP SSL client. I already had downloaded the FTP SSL client here for you. For you. So what's the steps? Let's start with the steps. Right now the FTP is configured but the FTP is using the plain authentication or simple text authentication and is transferring everything in plain text. I don't want this. I want it a secure FTP, FTPS. So the first thing first is that you need to have a certificate obviously those who had uh, done RHCSS or triple three module of Red Hat or those who know about the certificates and the CA will be comfortable with this and those who are not just cram the command hoo ha very simple. So first thing first I need to create a certificate and I need to attach that certificate with my FTP server. If you have a CA configured in your company, you can use that CA or you can have a self signed certificate. By issuing or by allowing the by or by configuring FTPS, what it actually does, it adds the TLS and the SSL to the normal FTP port. That, that is the same port, port number 21 will be added with the SSL and the TLS security. So let's start it enough of talking now okay so, uh, here I am assigning a self signed certificate to my FTP I can use open SSL request sorry request hyphen x509 standard hyphen nodes hyphen days days you can specify n number of days I specify three, 365 means the certificate will be valid for 365 days or one year new key as I am generating a key new key using RSA encryption the size of the key and then key out the name of the key say I give and it is uh, 
one more thing it's always better to go in the respective folder so means if i am configuring a self signed certificate for the ftp you should better be in the etc vs ftpd folder to make things easier and to avoid any sc linux complications if you have enabled the sc linux here so I, here i have enabled it so again i give the command after going to etc vs ftpd I, i give the command open ssl request hyphen x509 hyphen nodes hyphen days n number of days or any number of days hyphen days hyphen new key rsa the key and the size 201024 hyphen key out sorry it's really hot vs ftpd.pam it can be any name and the output file is say vs ftpd.pam because i am using a self signed certificate so i am repeating the same name here that's great it will ask you for a couple of things like country name and all the things so here i am giving country code as in india state as delhi locality as say south x organization name obviously network nuts uh, cheers to network nuts yo organization here i give it as my section common name can be anything i can give the machine name so in my case the machine name is linux storage dot example dot com or whatever email address can be anything i use a very simple practice of assigning the root for the linux storage dot example dot com that's great so by assigning this command by giving this command what happened is that i'll show you it has created a vs ftpd dot pem file that's it now what next i just need to configure the ftp just to use this file that's the idea that's the idea so i open up my conf file here vsftpd.conf and it's very simple i just need to tell the ftp to please use this file and obviously need to configure uh, some extra parameters go to the bottom there here it is i'm in the bottom so i i'll just uh, mention it here for you just a moment i just say for ftps and you write here say ssl enable yes you need to write it or if it is there just make sure that it is activated not commented allow anon ssl yes means i'm forcing the anonymous guys or those who are logging with anonymous they should be using ssl also and both there and the data will also be secured or encrypted force local data ssl yes means the data will also be secured using the ssl force underscore local underscore data underscore ssl yes and i can also give force local logins also means if i am using a login name a valid login name which appears on my server those logins will also be secured that's great force underscore local underscore logins underscore ssl is equal to yes ssl tls version 1 yes ssl ssl version 2 it's uh, whether you want to like uh, let the local users to use ssl version 2 or not um, it doesn't i i can make it yes no issues i can also make it ssl ssl version 3 yes and then just tell where the file is where your certificate file is so rsa cert file is equal to etc vsftpd vsftpd.pem or whatever location where you had kept your file is. if you remember i had kept the file here so i am pointing to the same location that is it so i had just enabled the ssl i had allowed ssl connection for anonymous guys i had forced the data to be encrypted using ssl i had forced that local users or, or those who have got a valid login name on the servers are also being forced to use ssl i am using the tls version 1 ssl version 2 and 3 and here i had specified the path of my self signed certificate in this case the save and come out hopefully everything should work fine restart and never forget to put it on the check config if it is a production server guys that's great check it with netstat
I can use a grab here and I'm smart. Hoo ha, working. Okay, here, so I just configured the FTPS on this machine. Let's try what difference it makes when I had establishing a connection from the different machine. I'll just make it slightly bigger. Now here, you need to use FTP SSL. It's a FTP client using SSL. So you need to download it. If you are, if you are uh, using Ubuntu, you can easily give sudo apt get install FTP SSL or if you are using Fedora and other versions, please feel free to download the repository and download the package then. So here I'm using FTP SSL and I give Linux storage dot example dot com here it is I give my login name I give the password if you see here here it is it's using the encryption that's great if you remember earlier it was SSL not supported now it is specifically showing me that the connection is being made using the SSL that's great that makes sense and give the password hoo ha that's great I'm successfully logged in that means what that means I had just configured or you have just configured FTPS so now you can be sure that whatever you are communicating over the FTP whether your login names your passwords your data everything is securely protected perfectly using TLS and SSL so that is something that is not being taught in any of the standard curriculums worldwide guys worldwide so I, I hope you like the video I just go by here again and one more thing make sure if you have got a SE Linux enabled so you need to make sure that the boolean is on FTP home directory if this boolean was off you will be getting an error while you are doing a connection here okay so we just learned how to configure a FTPS on this hot day in Delhi India so thank you guys thank you once again see you again soon with more tips and tricks Till then, Charles, God bless. Stop the video now.